Hey kid, you wanna go to Walmart? <laughs> yeah! All right, gamers, what is up? We are on the way to Wally World and we're picking up a gaming PC. Yep, so we're going to our local Walmart and you said you did curbside pickup, but I think we're just gonna go in. Yeah, we're cause... not gonna wait in the car. Oh God. Uh, yeah, cause I actually kinda wanna get a, a monitor or two for PC bros. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to a place that sells monitors, hopefully. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it's not too expensive. But yeah, it's been a bit since we went into Walmart and picked up a PC. We like to do that every so often cause there's sometimes some pretty good deals. Um, this one was an Asus ROG tower. It had a 3050 and an i5 11400F. I didn't wanna risk it being out of stock cause it was a pretty solid deal. It was like 600 bucks. Um, so I reserved it online Saturday and we're going to go pick it up this morning, Monday morning. It seems like they really only sell like, I feel like you only see Asus ROG, HP, like the pavilions, and then sometimes ASRock, and that's really it. So like, we see a lot of these ROG builds. What is this Wild West map? Wild West of geese of Walmart. and Walmarts. PC should be paid for. Um, we just got to go pick it up and see if they fight me on uh, if it's actually there or not. They got a lot more peripherals now. They still have all the Roadcat it's stuff in there. On Acer, like the same old, same old. They're gonna be like, we don't actually pick up inside anymore. You have to go wait in your car. Okay. Oh, okay, so you have to do the curbside pickup. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. If you order a pickup at Walmart, you have to do curbside. So if you don't have a car, you just out of luck. It says pick up. All right, now we wait and see. Will they hand deliver our computer? Appreciate it. Yep, have a good one. Yeah, you too. All right, let's get back to the, the Toasty Bros HQ and uh, hopefully this PC works. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliable of all the products they have to offer. So be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. All right, we're back and this computer's dusty. Yeah, this thing, check it. It's, it's been sitting for a little bit, guys. So yeah, this is our, the exact models in Asus ROG Strix i5 3050, so I don't even think that's really the model. <laughs> that's I, I saw a sticker and was like, yeah, this is probably it. But you know, Walmart pickup, uh, wasn't bad. I don't, the video's not really about that, but it was kind of cool. We had never done it before. So it was definitely an interesting process that wasn't too bad. They just brought it out to the car and as long as the PC works, I guess we're happy. Now I'm noticing already they, they did the thing where it's like, looks, looks like the glass is like separate. Do you see it? Yeah, that's something yeah. that Asus has done a lot recently, especially with these like ROG towers. I don't know why. I still have the theory, like the one rep told us that I still get, was it ASRock or Asus? That was Asus themselves. They commented on the video the last one we did. Yes said that it's for specific regions. So I think they just make it to where it's separate because some regions you can't ship it with glass installed. Yeah, which which is really, it's just weird to me that you're like, you're allowed to ship it in the box. But, but it can't it, be on the yeah. computer, which is weird. Yeah, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So I assume that, yeah, that means just like usual, I think we're gonna get a, I guess like a metal side panel and a glass one. Yeah. Which I guess it's cool. Well, actually, it's not even glass. It's acrylic. Oh, well, so, there you go. Acrylic side panel and probably a metal one. So it's cool to get a choice. Let me just show you guys what we get in here. A basic Asus mouth, mouse mouth. <laughs> it doesn't have any macros or anything like that. Power cord. They do include a SATA cable with some upgrade stuff. This is actually going to be for acrylic. So I'll leave that out. You do have to install the screws yourself. And I'm just like this says, in search of incredible, I, I'm not expecting incredible with this. <laughs> and then, yeah, just like a generic <laughs> Not keyboard. incredible. Mechanical. Mechanical. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm still waiting for the day that a company just wows us and like we open it up and it's a mechanical keyboard. I'm just gonna be like, whoa. One of these days. See, so yeah, one thing that's cool to see is that it is a 11th gen i5, which in theory, the motherboard and the i5 will have gen four support. So our 3050 really gets to unlock its full 16 by four bandwidth. All right, so yeah, we just have our generic panel right now. I guess we'll go over the ports before I open this thing up. We'll start off with the front. Um, I don't think anything opens up. Yeah, no. So I guess we just have like a little RGB action going on here. And then up top, very bare, just a two USB threes and then a combo headphone jack. So only certain headphones would work up top if you have like a mic or something. Now in the back, it looks like we get our standard audio ports. We have two USB twos, a ethernet jack, four USB threes. And then we do have some display units that we're not gonna be able to use because we have a graphics card installed. And then we have our PS2 ports. And then down here on our graphics card, we have, it looks like one HDMI and three display port. 
So not too bad, we could have up to four monitors, theoretically. Well, they mentioned as well, and they don't do a good job at doing it. We have an F processor, so please do not plug it into the motherboard, it will not work. All right, so let's go and get this panel off. And the cool part, like we were saying, is if you're using this in an office, maybe you don't want it to be see-through, you don't want it to look unprofessional, whatever. I guess it's nice that you get a metal panel. Um, hopefully you're not really paying extra to get both, but I don't know, I mean, overall the price wasn't really too bad that we paid. It is a single stick. Yeah, and that's really where, it just it just makes it feel not as worth it. You know, if it had two sticks, Matt and I look at that and we're instantly like, oh wow, well, you know, for like five, 600 bucks, this is a much better deal. But the fact that you'll probably want to upgrade the RAM um, before you even use it kind of sucks. I mean, we'll, we'll use it with single channel, it'll be fine. We could just get more performance if we had dual. Looks like we have a Western Digital NVMe. I do like that we get an actual name brand. It's Asus uh, 3050 and it's a pretty thick one too. It's, it's almost a three lane. Is it a, a massive single fan one? That's what it yeah. looks like. It's like a, almost like a 120 mil huh, fan. Uh, it just uses one eight pin, so it definitely pulls some power, but look, we get this. A little bit of extra power to work with. Um, the motherboard is actually swappable. It has a removable IO shield. So let's give them some, give them some claps yeah, for so that. Yes, it's actually case swappable, yeah, Smile. Standard motherboard. Or yeah. you could put, you know, down the line, swap this case out, um, or swap the motherboard out, and then you could always build like a cheaper PC in this to resell. And I do like that it has a removable back panel. We just checked out an Alienware, guys, and I don't know if you noticed, Matt, the back panel like wasn't even removable. That's wild. Yeah, we go just, in the like, back wild. at all. Yeah, this is like the one pre-built that's like really pre-built and actually is still a normal tower design. Has yeah. a basement and everything. It is, it is very, I mean, you know, it's it's plain, but like, I kind of like that. I do, oh yeah, the fact that it has a basement, which that's that's a good addition to point out. The power supply is pretty standard too. Like this could be swapped over. We have SATA, uh, we have Molex. So it's like everything you need has Can no tell labeling. The well, you know what, I'll pull it out for you guys. pull it out. We're gonna know one way or another. We're gonna have to know. I like that they have, um, uh, what are they called, blue uh, thread block on everything. Just to make sure it doesn't come out. <laughs> Just to make sure. You never know what could happen in shipping. It might vibrate its way out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating this build the more that we kind of get into it. Because I'm I like, yeah, this is this is nice. It is Asus ROG. You know, they're into the PC building market. So it kind of makes sense that they would be the one to make it pretty standard. I have to cut that zip tie, sadly. Total power output, 500 watts. Nice. Okay. That's reasonable. So it's kind of like an Aries game. It's 80 plus yes. bronze, um, 500 watts. And it's a chickeny brand, which chickeny is actually like an OEM. So it's probably actually not a bad power supply by any means. And honestly, it's it's kind of already beating a lot of like the HPs that we get. Those usually have like a 200 watt, um, but they, they are dirt cheap. So you have that going for you. This one's just cool because case swappable, guys. Yeah, case swappable, you're not limited to this platform. It's not like a console where you're just using it until you can't upgrade it anymore then you just have to get rid of it. This thing in theory could be your case for a long period of time. The power supply could be your power supply for a long period of time. There's a lot of components you can reuse um, compared to those like off the shelf pre-builds that use proprietary hardware. Yeah, and real quick, uh, just before we go ahead and get into this, I want to go over some of the upgrades you could do. So I don't really see like, I mean, okay, there is a hard drive mount right down here. So you put a hard drive down there. You have plenty of SATA cables, uh, plenty of SATA power. Up front, we have an SSD tray in one way or another. It's kind of weirdly shaped, but there I are definitely- There's SATA port. There's four yeah. SATA, so you can up, uh, do that easily. You could definitely put them there. Um, I don't know if we have any more M- Yeah, there's one more M.2 underneath the graphics card. We have four RAM slots, and I like this too. This motherboard even has two four pins, meaning it's not like a stupid cheap, like, you know, H510 necessarily, which it could be an H510. Um, honestly, I'd have to look it up, but it looks more like a B560 yeah. in terms of its form factor. USB 3, um, we could definitely fit a longer, we could probably fit almost a three fan, like a small three fan card. And this power supply, since we have this, you could probably throw in like a, a 4060 Ti or even like maybe an entry level like 4070 and not have too bad of bottlenecking. And this cooler is not too bad either. It actually has some decent height to it. It's better than that 5900 yes. uh, gaming PC we took a look at the other day. And even then, if you don't have enough power, you can swap out the power supply. That's Unlike some point. of those systems, you can't even do that. So very upgradable. I guess we'll just see what the RGB looks like. We've seen it before. We got to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, here we go. She RGB. <laughs> All right, I like this too. The fans are actually PWM, so they're not just like constantly, no, that one's just off. It's like, eh, I don't really need to be on right now. RGB looks pretty good. So is it RGB in the front too? Yep, got that RGB right there. And then there's like, I don't know if the camera can see it. There's a, just a little, I like the strip, it's nice. I think they're pretty too. bright. Yeah, there's one top too. Yeah, it's actually really bright. We have studio lighting on it. I think the camera can probably yeah, very easily. see it. Yeah, I'll have to get some B-roll of that in the dark. But yeah, guys, looks good. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I'm like impressed just at like, I guess the build quality. And I like that it's just, you can tell it's hand built. You can tell it's fully upgradable. I'm just, I'm really liking those aspects, even if it's not the greatest specs for the price. All right, let's go ahead and install some games and see how it performs. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Halo Infinite, and we are currently at medium settings. And there's already a guy talking. I can't do this. So we're playing some ranked King of the Hill, guys, because we want we want the most realistic experience. You know, we're trying to get some some competitiveness up in here. Yeah, and we're already at 100% GPU usage, so nothing's being held back. Well, the GPU's not being held back. is what we're saying. Um, but obviously you want to upgrade that RAM. We're up, already up on the eight gigs of yeah. uh, RAM being utilized, and that's a very cheap upgrade to do. Um, and with the way this uh, motherboard's configured as well, you could go 32 if you really wanted to, but realistically 16, pay an extra like 20 bucks or even less sometimes for another eight gig stick, and you'll be very happy with the performance. Yeah, and I honestly think like the RAM alone, like I think we would probably be seeing a little bit more FPS. That was a heater of a grenade. I think we would see more FPS just all out the gate if we upgraded it and probably a little bit smoother gameplay, maybe lower a millisecond even. Yeah, buddy. I'm hiding from the rabbits. Yeah, on the point. I swear to God, he kills me. Where do I look? Where do I look? Here? Yep. Oh! Yeah. Happening this is the last thing we do. God, I'm scoop that. Dude, this guy is it, that guy's insane. It yeah, look matter. at you for focusing on me. Woo! PC was pretty good for competitive Halo. Not too bad. Let's play some Fortnite. Alright guys, we are now in <laughs> Fortnite. Hopefully you can hear that in the background. Um, Otherwise we're just laughing at nothing. Yeah, we're just laughing at nothing. But we're dropping in right now. We'll show you guys the settings real quick. We are using DLSS instead of using uh, TSR because we have an RTX card and we can use DLSS, which is a cool feature that is a very nice upgrade over something like the 1660 Ti, which originally was in a system like this. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Getting DLSS support will allow you to play some games. Um, and get better performance numbers. And yeah, this is, this is looking pretty solid. Let me, oh goodness gracious, show you guys the settings we're currently working with. 1080p medium quality preset, DLSS on performance, medium across the board. And it looks pretty good, getting 100 plus FPS. I was worried that the single channel memory would really hold us back here, but I think we're running DX12, and I don't think it has as big of an impact if you're running like DX11 or even performance mode. Yeah, now, if we did give it the RAM, if it had 16, it'd probably be using, like, 12 to 14 right now. Yes. And, like Matt said, I don't think the performance would be much better, even though it's using that much more RAM, but it, maybe the milliseconds would be a little slower, or lower, and maybe we'd get slightly better FPS. Um, but, yeah, it's looking really good, actually. The bro, I was just dancing. I was just dancing, bro. Ooh, the guy almost went crazy. We're gonna boost, baby! Yay! Oh, oh, always look ahead before boosting. Oh, I survived that. <laughs> this guy's a casual. Like, he didn't even know where to go. He just got mayonnaised. I bet these last people are going to be some real people. How many bullets am I going to take from this guy? <laughs> oh! Oh, one more probably. Oh, he died to the circle! Oh, this dude's Oh dumb. no, he died to the circle. Look at the hamster clapping. But yeah, we won Fortnite. The guy died to the circle. It just takes running around in Fortnite, I guess. But yeah, performance is pretty solid. I'm pretty impressed with this PC for the money. Let's go ahead and run some built-in benchmarks and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this Asus ROG Strix Gaming PC. And some of the important things to note about it are, for one, this thing is fully swappable, meaning you can take the motherboard, power supply, graphics card, RAM, even the case, and you can put it in another build or vice versa, which is really awesome to see in a more name brand pre-book company like this. And then obviously single channel RAM, we really recommend going to another eight gig stick. So you have 16 and dual channel to get some extra performance. 600 bucks, not too bad for the system. Yeah, and with those upgrades you recommend, you're really gonna be in like the 620, $630 uh, price point there. And if you're gonna build a similar system, it would come out close to the same price. So you are getting some good value for the money here if you don't wanna do any crazy deal hunting and you just prefer buying something off the shelf. If one of these is at your local Walmart for this price, you should definitely consider it. And check the link down below. It will not be an affiliate link because we aren't a part of the Walmart affiliate program, but it'll direct you to the website. You can see this PC and determine whether or not you want to buy it for yourself. Let us know what you think of this deal in the comment section down below. Now, as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And PC Bros. It's all you need in your life. <laughs> and these mouse pads. He's freaky like that. PCBros.tech. He's go to Toasty Bros 2 and check out the save 2% of your next purchase. Buy a mouse pad. I'm mm -hmm. looking at you, Johnny on the track. Buy a mouse pad today. You need one. You desperately need one. See you guys later. Goodbye.